Good afternoon, Auburn High School parents and guardians. It's Jeff Gardner. It is Friday, September 10th. Um, we're just about ready to start releasing kids for our end of the day picnic and uh, pep assembly. We're going to end the week right, uh, have some fun. And I just want to let you know um, whatever you've done to help prepare your kids for this year. Um, we know it's a pretty daunting task. Uh, the kids have done a great job uh, learning new routines um, in the hallways, so the COVID-19 uh, guidance we have to follow. Um, if you could really reiterate with them um, and just uh, kind of review what a great job they're doing, but also emphasize that make sure we're not just covering our mouths, but we're also covering our nose with our masks. Um, I'd say 90% of the kids are doing a great job with both. Uh, we still got a few that don't cover their noses, but we got to have that too. So please really express the importance of that. Um, the other thing is uh, kids are doing a great job at lunches. Uh, make sure you know and you tell them they're doing a great job. You just want to keep reinforcing the positives. And, uh, you know, the first couple of days kids were lost in the hallways, couldn't find their way to classes. Today is the third day. Uh, it's only the second day they've kind of followed their whole schedule and they're doing a lot better. We did have a few new students today uh, that were kind of lost, but we got them to where they needed to go. We're not doing tardies right now. We'll start getting the kids into those routines so they're confident about getting to their classes on time. I think we'll start letting them know we can start writing them up for tardies like the week of the 20th or maybe even the week of the 27th. Um, we're going to have some schedule changes for some of the kids uh, just because we have some classes that are overloaded. So hopefully that doesn't uh, hit your student, but we're going to have a few kids that do that. And just, I wanted you to know how I prioritize that. We try to move seniors last, juniors next. Um, freshmen and sophomore, because they have so many more requirements, we can move them around a little bit more. We try to avoid that. We really try to keep kids in their uh, more high rigor classes, like college and the high school and AP classes. And then also we do everything we can to keep kids with their very first um, um, choices when it comes to electives. Because we know for a lot of our kids, the electives will keep them coming back to school. So I just want to give you a heads up on that. If your student is one that ends up getting a little bit of a schedule adjustment, please support us. Understand there's a very much a bigger picture here involved and we just can't have 40 kids in a math class, you know, or even 35. We're trying to get all our math classes down to 30. And that's just one example. So um, the teachers have done a great job. Your, your kids have done a great job, you know, following everything we need them to do and, and, and also helping us out and giving us ideas. So. Next week, the big emphasis is going to be staying on the right side of the hallways. Uh, the hallways are pretty crowded during passing time. Kids are doing great. We gave them some clues today about using some different stairwells. They did that, and things got a little bit better. But we're trying to get them in routines kind of by stages. So next week will be stay to the right side of the hallways when they're crowded, of course. And then also one of the things we're asking kids to do is make sure they're recording their QR codes when they eat lunch, whatever location they're at. Some of our kids have cell phones, so they can take a picture of it and kind of use the Google form for that. Uh, if your student doesn't have a phone, they can have a friend who sits next to them do that for them. They just have to do it a second time and enter, enter a second name. Kids can also bring down their Chromebooks, but I just don't see high school kids lugging their Chromebooks around. Um, unless they're at first lunch, that makes it easy because they'll have them with them. But the kids at second lunch, I don't want them lugging them down during class time, so they can just have a friend help them with that. It's really important that we get that because if we have any uh, symptoms or anybody that becomes symptomatic with COVID, uh, we can do our proper contact tracing. And, you know, like I probably shared with you before, all of last year and so far into this year, we've had no transmissions of COVID in our building. And that's because we're working hard to do things right. And we just need everybody helping with that. So you, if you can really help me emphasize QR codes with the kids, that'll keep our school even safer um than what it might be so anyway thanks for all you've done to get your kids prepared looking forward to a full week next week and uh thanks again if you have any questions please reach out